Free Golden Eagles for War Thunder. Check out the app in the description below. Come on Gaijin, you know you want to give it to us. Come on, give us the Sturm Tiger. Everyone wants it. Well, I don't know if everyone wants it, but certainly I want it. And I reckon it could fit into War Thunder's game. Now, my one small argument for why it should be in War Thunder, like, it would be balanced in my opinion, but the reason I think it would work is because the RBT-5 is in the game already, and it has dual 250kg rockets. Now, I don't know what the explosive inside the 250kg rocket is, but I know with the Sturm Tiger it fires 380kg shells, but only 125kg of it is high explosive. So, I think in theory, it might be basically firing RBT 250kg bombs, essentially, from its barrel, and it would have the ability to reload with around the 50 seconds cooldown before reloading. And I reckon that could actually fit into the game. The Sturm Tiger is essentially just a rocket launcher mounted onto a Tiger 1 base with a bit of extra improved frontal armor and decent armor at the sides and okay at the rear. A secondary reason why we should have the Sturm Tiger is because Wargaming tried to put it in their game and they couldn't balance it. And I reckon, they s and they still don't have it in the game, it's still there in like a hangar somewhere in the game. If you like clip through a wall or something you can have a look at it. But they were like, nah, we can't balance this. I reckon War Thunder could balance it. Plus it's just a middle finger about Wargaming. That's always a nice, you know, a nice action from War Thunder. The way High Explosive works in War Thunder is pretty much you gotta land it bang on the noggin or else nothing happens. Same with the RBT-5, if you miss, even if you shoot like right next to the tank, it will probably do fuck all. Whereas, I can imagine this concept applying to the Sturm Tag as well, where if you wanna fire your massive 380kg rocket, you're gonna have to hit something bang on the nose of it, otherwise, it will do nothing. And you only get 14 shots with the Sturm Tiger with a 50 second reload. It's not that many shells, plus I can't imagine you even shooting more than like 5 or 6 because in the KV-2 I'll be amazed if you shoot more than 10 rounds in one match. And the KV-2 has a 45 second reload. I hope the Sturm Tiger would have more like a 55 60 reload just to distinguish it. I can imagine it being a premium though to be honest because it wouldn't be that fun of a tank to play. But it would be a derp tank all the same. Not too OP, not too un-OP, because if you engage at anything from the sides, it is super vulnerable. Head on though, it would actually have pretty OK armor. I'm not quite sure about the balance of it, but definitely something high tier. BR 6.7 and RB maybe, or BR, yeah, it's BR 6.7 I reckon would be decent. Or even above that actually as well. Because at that tier, other tanks in long ranges can just say, lol, it's a Sturm Tiger, I'm just going to snipe him from here. Whereas you'll be sitting there trying to calculate, you know, how much drop you need to account for, because the rocket will have severe drop. I mean, if you're played with like the RBT, you know those rockets have mega drop. Same goes for the Panzerwerfer. I mean, those rockets are pretty light, and yet they have massive drop. You can't just aim this thing directly ahead and expect it to hit something. So yeah, I reckon it could work. Anyway, I'll make a straw poll, and I'll drop it in the comments below, and in the description as well, just in case you miss it. And I want to know what your opinions are. Should the Sturm Tiger be in War Thunder? Yay or nay? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll break your f***ing legs.
Thank you.